Jacksonville is citing local businesses for flags and military American flags. Are you serious? So that's the video that you just saw there that started it all. The rant from a small business owner on Jacksonville's west side moments after a code enforcement officer ticketed his motorcycle dealership for flying military flags on top of his business and allegedly told a combat wounded veteran he'd done nothing for the country. So that video and that outrage it sparked has gone well beyond the borders of Duval County. Oh, it has been shared now thousands mm -hmm. upon thousands of times. Just between our sister stations, that story has caught fire. So look at all these shares. And for the men and the women at Jaguar Power Sports, there is nothing to like about this story. And so we've been seeing a truly impressive outpouring of support for that business and anger directed at Mayor Lenny Curry's office. Now the subject lines, well, they really tell the story, all of them referring to the flags or demands to fire the code enforcement officer who issued that citation. Disgraceful, disrespect, disgusted American citizen. And the one question we have been hearing over and over again, how can this be happening in Jacksonville? And we want you to know, we want to know what you think about it. So we're asking all of you at home, what should happen to the city employees who cited that business for flying the flags? Currently, both that officer and her supervisor are under suspension. But that simply is not good enough for a lot of you. Fire them both leads both of our leads our poll by far and away right now. Now, whether that will happen still remains to be seen. But Mayor Curry says he is looking closer tonight, and so is First Coast News reporter Nick Perot. He joins us live from City Hall with more. Nick. Yes, Anthony Heather, Mayor Lenny Curry says this is something that everyone out there should respect those that serve, especially if you're an employee here throughout Duval County. All it takes is a simple click around the web to see what the city of Jacksonville really thinks about these flags waving in the wind outside this Jacksonville motorcycle shop. While this story may have started with this video, simply reading comments, you can tell this is not so much about what was written or even said between Melinda Power, the code enforcement officer, and this customer that happened to be a veteran. But the bigger picture it paints, just how important the military is in this town and what can happen if there's a threat against it. What's going on, guys? Sean over at Jagger Power Sports. In just over 24 hours since this original post aired, it's been viewed nearly 8 million times. Dozens of emails flooded into the mayor's inbox from Jacksonville hates veterans to city official on duty dishonoring veterans to disgusted American citizen. Stations across the country, not just here in Florida, even picked up the story from Houston to St. Louis to Cleveland. In North Carolina, their city of Jacksonville actually had to issue a release following their own countless calls and emails to the office from people thinking the story was out of North Carolina instead of Florida. It's our responsibility to treat them with respect and dignity. Well, the city's chief of staff says they're reviewing the facts and current ordinances on signs. Mayor Lenny Curry took to Twitter saying let the flags fly and he'll be reviewing employee procedures. In the meantime, calls and messages left for Melinda Power weren't returned. Power did take to Facebook, though, to apologize. Back here live again, that number just stands out to me. Eight million views and thousands of comments. You can only imagine that will continue to grow over the coming days. Keep it right here as this story develops. We'll bring you the very latest reporting live tonight in Jacksonville. Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side. And we've been seeing a tremendous outpouring of comments here from our viewers, and not all of them support the business owner. This is what Anthony has to say. Uh, if the business was, in fact, in violation of city codes, then the citation is valid. Her comments to the vet were not warranted and unprofessional and at the least should be reprimanded. This next message is from Cliff. Uh, Cliff says, good start, but she needs to be fired. The last thing you need is a disrespectful, power drunk fool representing your city. Some strong words there from Cliff. Melissa says, I have more respect for the owner as he didn't back down. I was a military wife, so yes, I took it personal. And Ivan says, people can make mistakes without their lives being ruined. Well, new